Hello, I'm Ken Napsok, and welcome to Motivations with Ken, your source for inspirations, motivations, and advice to not quite get you through the week. And it's award season here in Hollywood. This is when the entertainment industry hands out little gold statues to themselves. And look, I can't offer any motivation for those who didn't win a Golden Globe this week, and I don't know if you really need it. And I'm not cynical about the awards, I understand. Winning an award represents a lifetime of pursuing your dream, overcoming obstacles, overcoming rejection to be recognized for your work. And I think you and your PR team that slipped a lot of money to the voting committee should feel good about your big win. But for the rest of us, I think it's time that we start having our own kind of awards our own kind of awards to use as motivation, just like Hollywood uses the pursuit of these awards to get pictures done, to get TV shows made, and to strive for the best, always. So, as you return to work this week, I want you to concentrate on motivating yourself and your coworkers with some office rewards. There's Carl who's mastered the fine art of cooking fish in the break room every Wednesday and not getting fired. There's Alex, the intern, who's mastered the fine art of updating all of the social media on the job and minimizing that screen just as middle management turns a corner. Alex, it's a big win for you. There's also Steve, who spends every Monday at the coffee machine telling everyone wonderful, amazing, pointless stories about his weekend that everyone just nods at absentmindedly, blankly, because they just don't want to go back to their desk. Steve, here's an award for you. Congratulations on wasting our time. There's Jenny in HR. Hi, Jenny. She can never respond to emails in a timely manner. She deserves an award for that. No one else was even in contention. And there's Brett. Uh, Brett, he's in records. What does he record? No one really wants to talk to Brett. He wears a pullover sweater with a tie underneath. And that's just, that's just really odd. Brett, congratulations for winning the office award for dressing most like a substitute teacher. And of course, there's yourself. You deserve an award. You deserve your own kind of motivation for continuing to show up to work every single day despite the deep, deep longing to just keep driving until you hit the ocean. That's an award I think you deserve a lifetime achievement in. Congratulations. All right, if you have some awards that you're handing out, feel free to post them in the comments below or reach out to me on Twitter using the hashtag motivations with Ken and tell me your office rewards. Let's see who wins big in your office. Don't forget to check out the podcast on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Just just find it. All right. Bye.